Uh, what's up, my man? And for those of you who are not uh, the man I'm referring to, uh, I'm posting this response to uh, Marceau Bateman. He just posted a video about uh, psychedelic research and how it's been made illegal for several decades. Um, and I, I don't, I don't think uh, Mr. Bateman really settled on an answer as to why, or you know, besides the fact that uh, science and industry have become wedded. I don't think Mr. Bateman really decided upon an answer to this question as to the illegality of uh, substances which are granted quite powerful uh, but which are also uh, endogenously present in our own neurochemistry uh, and physi physiology generally. You know, we have our own um, neurochemical morphine, our own neurochemical uh, cannabinoids. Uh, we have DMT, uh, you know, and, and psilocybin and, and LSD. Um, these are tryptamines. And so basically uh, cousins are in the same chemical family as serotonin. Uh, and so, you know, basically we carry a, a very ancient pharmacy in our own bodies uh, and most of the things which the government has declared illegal uh, are present already in everyone. Uh, you know, of course, there are historical, you know, particular historical reasons for every law. Um, and I think Timothy Leary is uh, a, a historical character who had quite a, a large influence on the change in, in the the laws as regards uh, substances like cannabis and other psychedelics, LSD, psilocybin, and so forth. Um, Leary's, uh, well, what, what to call them, Leary's antics and or Leary's research. Um, I, I see reason to, to use both of those descriptive terms for the work that he did. Uh, it was very influential. Uh, it affected the President of the United States, it affected uh, many politicians, um, many lawyers. Uh, he was in and out of many prisons, both for his research and for legal reasons. Uh, and I think, you know, the result of his activity is, whether it be due to the uh, shocking truths he discovered through his research, or whether it be from you know the the disruption of the basic mores of Western society, uh, Leary's the reason that these things are now illegal. And I think uh, you know it's a historical fact that this is so. And the question is, where do we go from here? And you know certainly the problem is that that I can only speak from my own experience as regards psychedelics because we haven't turned the scientific lens fully we, we haven't laid the full weight of the scientific method upon uh, psychedelic use I mean there's been an underground community which has been doing this um, in the West uh, since the 60s the 50s really uh, and of course, there's been a shamanic tradition, which is ancient and has been doing this for tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands or millions of years. Um, primates, especially human beings, have very intimate relationships with the, uh, the plants that they live amongst. And um, I think because I can only speak from my own experience, and I, I have had my fair share of uh, psychedelic experiences and shamanic uh, journeys, but because I can only speak from you know my own and, and my close companion's uh, experience, um, it becomes difficult to really pin down exactly what this experience means. Uh, you know, of course, I've also read a lot about the underground uh, community, which has been 
researching uh, these phenomena with almost or with with no public funding uh, or taxpayer money or, or even I, mean, I guess there there has been a bit of private contribution from um, you know, wealthy entrepreneurs, but for the most part, the psychedelic movement has gone on under its own uh, impetus without any outside assistance from society at large. Uh, in fact, it's been um, it attacked as as if it you know society at large were on a witch hunt. Uh, I think it was Leary who famously said that uh, LSD has the strange and powerful tendency to make those who have not taken it go insane. Uh, because you see, when, when you do have an experience, when you journey out of your mind or when a new mental experience is manifested, which a psychedelic is basically, it means mind manifesting, um, you know, you start saying or, or trying to describe it in very mystical and uh, cryptic, esoteric language, or or you may perhaps say that language fails, but that somehow this experience universally um, is described as an awakening of some kind. Uh, revelation, and it doesn't necessarily mean uh, that it's positive. You know, some people can have horrible experiences and really uh, get stuck in in some negative uh, and, f and terrifying energies. Um, but it, it will still have been a revelation, something that you know once that uh, unconscious complex in your psyche has been revealed to you because of the. The psychedelic catalyst, you will never, after that point, be able to deny it. You will have faced it squarely. Uh, and so, you know, a lot of people uh, use LSD uh, in, in uh, a transformative way to, almost as a spiritual practice, to uh, continue to amplify the confrontation with these complexes that everyone has to deal with. Uh, and then in fact, you know, most of these complexes are not personal, I think, one discovers uh, under the influence of uh, something like LSD that um, your personal problems are indistinguishable from uh, social, societal problems, uh, and also from ecological issues. You know, you are an animal, you're part of this larger biological system, uh, self-regulating system called Gaia, or, you know, more specifically part of uh, your local bioregional uh, context. And so, you know, your experience as what you thought was an ego is destroyed by really any psychedelic, not just uh, LSD. And what you're left with is uh, a world which is, is new again, not yet fully created. And it becomes difficult, if not impossible, to finally decide upon its true nature. Uh, because to do so would imply that the decider or, or the perceiver, the, the one who is aware of all of this, mm -hmm. was somehow not included. Uh, and so, of course, whatever the ego is, whatever conscious uh, self awareness is, whatever that, you know, I, I think that I'm separate from you because, you know, I see out of my eyes and hear out of my ears and feel out of my body, whereas you feel out of yours, and, and I can't see out of your eyes. Um, but somehow, that, that, that ego that we think we are exists within a larger enveloping uh, context, a uh, space-time manifold which is unified. So how does this paradoxical situation